ولقد أنزلنا إليكم آيات مبينات ومثلا من الذين خلوا من قبلكم وموعظة للمتقين الله نور السماوات والأرض مثل نوره كمشكات فيها مصباح المصباح في زجاجة الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد من شجرة مباركة زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسس my friend and we haven't had a conversation have we no no, no. Uh, just while we, we were setting up the camera because you agreed to be filmed and um, can I ask a question my friend uh, you you said as you were passing you said you're a Catholic is that right I'm a Catholic yeah I grew up a Catholic yeah okay. yeah okay. you said you're a Catholic okay and you're born and bred in this area I was born in Ireland but I came here when I was about three years old okay yeah. so you came from Ireland to Britain yeah. when you were three years of age okay yeah. what I'd like to ask you is that so there's a protest march going on here about something. Uh, what I'd ask you, I'll ask you, Pat, uh, you said your name is Patrick, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Patrick. And I just got that name while we were setting up yeah. the camera. Because people might think, how did I know that beforehand? Is anyone setting up? We haven't had a conversation. I've seen you in my life, right? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's very kind of you, Patrick. Okay, Patrick. And uh, the question I'd like to ask you, Patrick, is, uh, and this is I asked you while we were setting up, do you believe Jesus is God? Or do you believe Jesus was somebody sent by God? Because you're a Catholic, you said. Yeah, even, even though I'm a Catholic, I don't believe in everything that's written. I, I believe in, like, I, I, I actually like the way that, he's a, to me, I think he's just a prophet, like a messenger from God. A like, lot like, like of all the other prophets before them, and uh, that's why I believe. I, I don't believe he's a God. He's a God. So you say you're a Catholic, but you like to believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is a prophet of God, yeah, a messenger of God? Yes, yeah, well, I've always believed. Yeah, I've always felt like that. I, I just think the message has got lost in the Bible somewhere. That's what I think, you know. So you believe he's a prophet or messenger of God, but the message has got lost somewhere, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. and that's, okay. Why, that's why Catholics think he's God. That's just what I think, yeah. Okay, yeah. Brilliant, okay, fine. Uh, I'd like to ask you, Patrick, do you accept Muhammad as a messenger of God also? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm right. You accept that? Literally, yeah, yeah. literally, I stopped you about two, three minutes ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you said you're a Catholic, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now you're saying, that Muhammad is a messenger of God, peace be upon him? Yeah, peace be upon him. I've read his life story, like from the age of 40 onwards, all about him and that, and how, what a good person he was and all that. And yeah, I believe he's a messenger. And you're a Muslim, my friend. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I am, mate. You're really a Muslim. If you say that there is one God and this God alone should be worshipped, this God is almighty, all-powerful, all-seeing, all-hearing. He has no beginning. He has no end. He is so powerful. God says in the Quran, nothing in the heavens or on the earth is hidden from him. Anywhere. There's nothing whatsoever that is hidden from me. That's absolutely amazing. You agree with that? I believe all that. I believe all that. You agree this God is not a man or a woman. He has no beginning. He has no end. Power, isn't it? He's an absolutely incredible power. The universe was created. Everything in the universe is created by him. That's right. Everything in the universe and beyond the universe. Yeah. All the planets in the distance. That's The right. ones we don't know about. That's right. It's all there created by him. By him. You agree with that concept of God, okay? Okay, but that's a Muslim view of God. And he doesn't need to sleep and he doesn't need to rest. No, no, so, no. And the Christ, however, Christianity says God created the heavens and the earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. The Quran says that God doesn't need to rest and no 
weariness touched him after he'd created everything. Makes sense, more sense, yeah? Yeah, it does make more sense. Really, you are actually a Muslim, my friend, okay? So I would suggest, Patrick, that you say, say two sentences to confirm you're a Muslim. I know it's not a long conversation we've had, it's only about two or three minutes. And what are the, look, these are two, com, uh, two sentences. First sentence, Patrick, I bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except Almighty God in Arabic or his proper name we believe is Allah there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah okay 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 one second and the second sentence you're already saying it the second sentence um, Patrick is that and I bear witness that means and I'm sure that Muhammad peace be upon him is his servant and his messenger if you say these two sentences which are really you're not changing your beliefs, no. although you said you're Catholic, you're just confirming what you believed in anyway, and you'd actually be a Muslim. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that according to Islam, you are ultimately promised to go into paradise. The reason being that any Muslim will eventually go into paradise. We are answerable for our sins, obviously. However, ultimately all Muslims will go into paradise. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said. So what I'm saying is that uh, if you see these two sentences, although you say you're a Catholic, really what your beliefs are Muslim beliefs and you'd be a Muslim. Are you happy to say the two sentences? Yeah, 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 then quite. you'd be a Muslim, Patrick. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, quite happy. Although I stopped you only literally three or four minutes ago, okay? Yeah. Okay, the two sentences. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Nothing worthy, worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. That Muhammad, peace be upon him is his servant and his messenger is his servant and his messenger okay and you say it in arabic also it's exactly the same words not different you say ashhadu ashhadu an an la ilaha la ilaha illallah illallah wa wa ashhadu ashhadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa wa rasuluhu rasuluhu Congratulations, Patrick. You're actually a Muslim now. That's all right. I don't mind. You're happy with that? Yeah, I'm not fussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm quite happy. If that's what I am. That's yeah, that's what you are. That's what your beliefs are. It's not about labels. You see, people say, well, I'm actually a Christian. I say to them, look, I say I'm a Catholic or I'm Jewish or I'm some other religion. Most I say, Christians are closer to Islam than they realize. That's right. Absolutely correct. Because if you follow Christianity properly, you're very close to Islam. If you follow, yeah. well, if you follow Christianity, yeah. you wouldn't be a Muslim. However, if you follow Jesus in the Bible, you'd be a Muslim. You can't be anything else. This is the point. If you follow Jesus, look, Jesus had a beard. According to the Bible, he prayed by putting his head on the ground. He used to pray like that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Right, that's yeah. in the Bible. His forehead used to be on the floor and you all that. Exactly that's correct. exactly right. Yeah. I normally tell people this, but you're no, telling. That's, true. that's, that's true. right. You're confirming. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. Mary, the mother of Jesus. You see the ladies here walking around with a hijab on. Yeah. How did Mary used to dress? It's the same with Catholic nuns. They dress the same. They all cover up. They don't cover their hair completely, but Mary used to cover her hair completely. Originally, Catholics were meant to keep themselves well covered. We were meant, to, and we weren't meant to drink either. We were meant to do many things that happens in Islam today. We were meant to live a moral life as well. That's right. Originally, the original Catholics. That's the proper. But people don't follow it properly. That's the trouble. So now, as a Muslim, you've become a true follower of Jesus, peace be upon him. Literally, in about five minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, as, as you said, most Christians don't realize what they believe in is closer to Islam than Catholicism. Yeah, they don't realize. No, they, they don't. Fantastic. Yeah, because half, half the Bible, Muslims follow half of the Bible anyway. You know, there's a lot of well, stuff. Muslims are happy to follow what Jesus says in the Bible, yeah, not the things that St. Paul said. Rubbish that's put in it. It's all the man. I didn't want to say that, but you said it. Yeah, there's a lot of rubbish man, man put in the Bible. That, that doesn't make sense. That's, that's why the original Bible, when you read it properly, from what all about Jesus and all that, that's the proper Bible. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, it's, congratulations. Can I give you a hug? I know it's not a very yeah. English way of doing things. Well, don't mind. We're brothers, aren't we? We're brothers. Alhamdulillah, we're brothers. That's right. Congratulations. Now, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, we're brothers. Now, that's true. Exactly what the Quran says. Yeah. We're brothers now, alhamdulillah. Uh, Allah says in the Quran that the believers are nothing but 
else but be, uh, brothers, brothers and sisters, of course, brothers in a general term. So brothers and sisters, we're all brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. I'll give you a hug. Congratulations, you're a Muslim. It's a big thing. Every time when I'm awake, all things that I see, I know it's hard to believe, but it's from the Almighty. When the leaves fall from the tree, every plant that grows on land, when the waves flow in the sea, it's by His Patrick, you very kindly come back and agree to be filmed and give a follow-up interview. Yes, I have. Uh, Salaam alaikum, Brother Patrick. Wa alaikum salam. Very good. And uh, Brother Patrick, uh, you became a Muslim in the videos. You became a Muslim in only six minutes. And people are wondering how can you take it seriously if you became a Muslim so fast and so rap, you know, so quickly. Um, so obviously you have taken it seriously. Um, you've actually you're growing a beard now as well, alhamdulillah. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, wait. Following the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, but the Patrick. Um, um, uh, first question really is how has it been since you've been a Muslim because you became a Muslim alhamdulillah uh, what six, about six months ago here in Northwest London uh, in a matter of only a few minutes literally well almost like six minutes so how's it been being a Muslim it's been great I'm very happy feel a lot healthier as well you know I've been very positive you know I feel really peaceful as well you know you've been going to the mosque and praying and fasting yeah I've been fasting I fast Mondays and Thursdays I fast Mondays and Thursdays like the way of the Prophet Muhammad yeah, peace be upon him trying to be extra yeah yeah <laughs> those are masjids when I can yes yes you're going to the mosque whenever you can that's, that's brilliant mashallah and uh, practice Islam uh, how do you feel spiritually I feel really good spiritually. I feel really happy, you know, especially when I pray as well. Like, you know, I feel a good, really good, strong connection with God. And, yeah. you know, I just feel so happy, you know. Yeah. You know that sounds really good. You mentioned the word happiness a few times there. Sounds really good, alhamdulillah. And um, the next question really is, why did you become a Muslim in only six minutes? I mean, it seems right. I mean, I was surprised when it happened uh, because... Uh, uh, when I interviewed you, you said that you accepted Muhammad was a messenger of God, peace be upon him. But you said you were still a Catholic, uh, which threw me out completely. You, you threw me because the conversation was unrehearsed and it was just off the cuff. Uh, so why did you suddenly become Muslim in six minutes? I had a lot of knowledge before that. I've read about Islam and I've read the Quran and I've read quite a few books. You know, I read about the life story of the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him. I've also lived in a Muslim country for a year, so I had, I had quite a bit of knowledge. Okay before that and you know and I'd already been reading on it so I mean I was aware I wasn't aware of that when I stopped you in the street that you had knowledge about Islam but clearly you said you did have some knowledge about Islam and you also lived in a Muslim country as well yes I did I worked and lived in a Muslim country as well so that gave me a lot of knowledge and background That's yeah cool. Gave me good and, and the people there had told you about Islam as well? Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, I spoke to people, yeah, asked a lot of questions and learnt a lot that way. Yeah, good. from Mashallah, people. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. alhamdulillah, that sounds good. And the next question really is, Brother Patrick, uh, uh, why didn't you become Muslim? Why didn't you take your Shahada when you were in the Muslim country? Well, while I was there, no one actually invited me or asked me. So I, I never took it because no one asked. So no one actually asked you to become a Muslim? No, okay. Even though I was asking questions, I never got asked. Okay. Never got asked, so that's why you didn't take a Shahada. Okay, fair enough. And because I asked you at that interview okay, six months ago, you took Shahada, alhamdulillah. Okay. And uh, what is your advice to people who are searching out there, Catholics or Christians or non-Muslims in general? I think really they need to read, read the Quran, read some books, you know, do their own research and don't rely on rumours and what you're reading papers and media you know just do your own research find out for yourself I mean there's loads of information good information as well you know where you, you learn from about 
this beautiful religion you know it's, it's nothing like what it's in the media you, you'll learn if you do your own research before you make your mind up you know so don't listen to the media but uh, do your own research read the Quran yeah, read the and uh, what will they find when they read the Quran I think when they when they when they read the Quran they'll find that it's a message from God they're the words of God it's, and once you start reading that you'll have a connection with God you know and straight away you'll feel different just from the fact that you're reading God's words you know and then all you've got to do is ask for guidance that's all you've got to do uh, so it's about reading the Quran and asking gui guidance yeah. uh, when you read the Quran yourself how do you feel about it I just feel really happy you know I mean I, I can't wait for time to read it I, I read it in my I got it on my phone I read it at lunchtime I read it when I come home I, I just read it all the time I go back reading the stories I've read before you know I just love reading the stories and it's just scholars say that to read the Quran is like communicating with Allah because the message in the Quran is like Allah speaking with us yeah. So yeah. that's the answer. Okay, that's how we get guidance, inshallah. Yeah, it's just like God's words, God speaking to you when you're reading the book. You know, it's just amazing. Right. Yeah. You're here giving in dawah to other people, inviting them to Islam. Alhamdulillah, you've been doing that for a few months now. Yeah. And uh, so what is your message to the Muslims that are watching this and Muslims in general? I think everyone needs to do dawah, really, you know. We, we all should. And there's different ways of doing dawah. Some people probably don't feel comfortable approaching people, you know, as well. So you can give dawah by the way you present yourself you know like present yourself as an ambassador even the way you walk along the road you know everything your mannerisms you know everything you do like you know you can give dawah that way you don't have to just go up to walk up to people it's just the way people perceive you can help if people see you're a kind person you're a nice person you know you don't rush around like mad throwing your rubbish on the floor and all that if people see that then they'll realize you know what beautiful people Muslims are and how peaceful they are you know and and that's that's the best dawah in one respect is how people view you as well you know so you're saying to Muslims that we should all be giving dawah inshallah and not necessarily in the street by giving out leaflets but uh, uh, giving dawah by our personalities, our characters, our presentation, our good behavior, and our character. That's what you're saying. Alhamdulillah, we should do that. Alhamdulillah. That's a good advice, Alhamdulillah. And uh, anything else you'd like to say at all, Brother uh, Patrick? I understand from uh, uh, what we were being filmed that you've actually got a, a, a you've, you've, you, you, this name you'd like to be called by, uh, a Muslim name. Yeah, I like Zachariah. I like the story about Zachariah, the peace. The prophet Zachariah, or Zachariah in the Bible, uh, peace be upon him. That's right. Yeah, you like so you like us to call you Zachariah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that name. Yeah, yeah, it's a okay. nice name. Okay, brother Zachariah, uh, very very nice to come and give an interview. And maybe in a few months' time, you could uh, give us another interview and tell us a bit more about how you're getting on. Yeah. But certainly, you sound very happy being a Muslim, and you're encouraging other. Uh, Muslims to practice Islam better and go out and give the message, give dawah inshallah and non-Muslims to look into the Quran and when they look in hopefully inshallah you say that if they ask for guidance they'll get guidance inshallah. They will, yeah. they will get guidance if they ask for it, they will do, yeah. yeah. Inshallah, sounds good alhamdulillah. Jazakallahu khairan, assalamu alaikum brother uh, Patrick who is now brother Zakaria. Jazakallahu khairan. I won't stop you anymore, I won't hold you up, I'll let you carry on giving dawah and uh, uh, make dua for us. Remember in your prayers inshallah, thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. قرآني نور وشفاعة يهديني إلى الحق سماعة قرآني نور وشفاعة يهديني إلى الحق سماعة